week is the Super Spinatus. So underneath, does anyone remember what this was? Yeah, so underneath the trapezius, when we reflect it back, we have the supraspinatus. So this top portion here, and then the infraspinatus is the bottom portion. So you can see the, there's like a thin separation, but supraspinatus, infraspinatus. Cool. Supraspinatus, infraspinatus. And then this ridge, this hanging muscle along the end, is the teres major. So it pretty clearly hangs off the bottom. So teres major. Which all the way around and it hangs off the infraspinatus. So can everyone see the separate like infra and there's like a thin uh, sort of faint separation? Infra. Supra. Infra. Cool. I think so. Yeah. So last week we went over the rhomboids, which I said were on this side. So then opposite the rhomboids this week we have the subscapularis. So sub meaning under, under the scapula. Cool. So opposite the rhomboids, subscapularis. So again, supraspinatus. Infraspinatus, teres major, subscapularis. Cool. Okay. Uh, so now we'll go over the three deltoids. Uh, they're listed in a couple different ways in this book. Uh, the easiest way to keep it for consistency would to go uh, clavodeltoid. This one. A chromiodeltoid, the corner muscle here, and the spinodeltoid. So that's the trickiest one this week to see because of the uh, the trapezius, the way it's caught on different cats. Um, but it's the one that is that lines parallel uh, with the spine. So clavodeltoid, acromial, this corner muscle, and then spinal. So C A S. Clavodeltoid, acromial deltoid, spinal deltoid. Uh, then we have the three tri muscle, the three uh, triceps. So we have the lateral tricep. Is this one? It's, it's like perfect rectangle on most of them. Long head of tri, which you can see from both sides. Sorry, long tricep. So long tricep, lateral tricep, and then the medial tricep is underneath. We don't have them dissected up, but there's a muscle underneath. So if I was to ever stick the pin basically under, or we might, by the time a test comes, split the lateral tri and open it so you can actually see it. But for now, just know that it's under the lateral tri. And you can't see it from the other side right now, but so underneath would be the medial, lateral, and long head of tri. Okay. Um, so it was the corner one again, a corneal deltoid. So the, easy, the next one is the brachialis, which is this muscle here. And it's basically, if you find your corneal deltoid, just think of the extension towards the elbow, this muscle here. So brachialis, corneal deltoid, brachialis. And I think, just have two more. So the epitrochlearis is the one that uh, I said needs a comma added. It's this thin muscle covering the long tricep. It's not the best on all the cats that we have in here. It's just this thin muscle here that covers the long tri, epitrochlearis. And then finally, we have the biceps break guide, the big bicep muscle, this one here. So if, if someone were to say, show me your bicep, like this, just remember that it's on the side here. So biceps break guide, epitrochlearis, long head of tricep, which I could, I could pin on both sides, lateral head of tri, medials underneath, Clavodeltoid, acromial, spinal, parallel to the spine, teres major, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, and then finally, is it a remember inside? Yeah, subscapular. That's it. Cool. So, the best way to memorize these, I would say, is like come up with acronyms. So, like, I think CAS for the deltoids. Your triceps are pretty straightforward.